Hey everybody, my name is Trevlin Everett Geyer. I'm an educator in Dallas ISD. I want to talk to you briefly about some challenges that we've had through this COVID-19 and things that we're doing to, in order to ensure that our kids are still learning and some opportunities that we've given them. We've had lots of challenges as we've moved through COVID-19, technology being one of them. How do we keep kids moving? How do we keep them interested? How do we keep them exploring? How do we keep on moving? Let me share my screen with you for a second and show you something that we're gonna do. How can I bring STEM into my students' learning? STEM's a growing part. Hands-on activities, what can I do? I'm not there to guide them. You'll see that I flipped over to Google Classroom. In Google Classroom, I built the STEM activities. In the STEM activities, I said, what can I do for hands-on activities? All right, let's look at parachutes. How can we build parachutes? So I attached a video for them to look at so they can learn what is a parachute. It's a really quick, short video. Then we're gonna flip over to the Flipgrid. Using Flipgrid and the STEM activity, you can see that we're gonna build a parachute, okay? So we're gonna see how it works. We're gonna attach it with a pencil to a pencil and see, did it work, did it not work? They're gonna video themselves because we sent technology home with all of our students. So they're gonna video the experiment. They're gonna change things. How could it have gone better? They're gonna analyze what happened, what didn't happen, what should have happened, what material could I use? Could I use different material? They can simply use things around their house, like um, napkins or trash bags or whatever they want. They, there's no perimeters that I put on them. All of this is great, hands-on learning. I have a captive audience. My students aren't gonna go anywhere because we're quarantined with COVID-19. I hope that this helps you.